Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Many microwave oven repairs will require you to disassemble the appliance. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, be aware that repairing this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To access the turntable motor and lower light socket, simply release the bottom panel by using a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws. To uninstall the motor, first disconnect the wires. Next, use a short Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the motor mounting screw. Rotate the motor counterclockwise and pull it down to remove. To reinstall or replace the motor, hold the coupler down as you insert the motor shaft through the base, then rotate the motor clockwise to lock it into place. Replace the mounting screw to secure the motor. Reconnect the motor wires. With the repair complete, lift up the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. To access the stirrer blade assembly, use a small flathead screwdriver to help pry out the stirrer blade cover mounting pin. Then rotate the cover counterclockwise to remove. Reinstall by aligning the cover, rotating it clockwise to secure. Then replace the mounting pin. If you need to replace the door handle, use a putty knife to pry out the left side of the door trim. Now use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the mounting screws, securing the door handle. Remove the old handle. Install the new handle by positioning it on the door. Then thread the mounting screws into the outside holes in the handle. With the handle secured, snap the door trim back into place. To reach the charcoal filter, unthread the two mounting screws securing the grill. With the screws unthreaded, open the oven door, then slide the grill to the left and lift it up to remove. You can now push the charcoal filter up, then pull it out. Install a new charcoal filter by setting it on the rear mounting tabs with the front of the filter resting behind the front tab. To access the main control board, remove the control panel mounting screw. Lift the control panel up to detach. Note the orientation of the wires connected to the control board. Then depress the locking tabs, if necessary, to disconnect the wires. Remove the screws securing the grounding wire to fully release the control panel.
With the panel removed, you can access components like the door switches, as well as the base and cavity thermostats. When the repair is complete, secure the grounding wire to the control board housing. Then reconnect the remaining wires to the appropriate terminals on the board. To reach the high voltage diode in your microwave oven, remove the screw securing the inner access panel. Then release the panel from the retaining clips. To avoid injury, you should release the potentially stored electrical charge in the capacitor. You can do this by using needle nose pliers with an insulated handle to touch both terminals simultaneously. Be very careful not to touch the metal portion of the tool. When you have completed the repair, reposition the inner access panel and replace the screw to secure. Now insert the control panel tabs into the slots in the frame and push the panel down. Replace the mounting screw Insert the tabs on the grill into the slots in the frame and slide the grill to the right. Rethread the mounting screws. To access components like the transformer, cooling fan motor, and blower assembly, you will need to uninstall the appliance. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off of the rear mounting bracket and set it on a sturdy surface resting on a towel or blanket. Now unthread the mounting screws securing the grill. Open the oven door and remove the grill. If still in place, remove the glass turntable and support. Now tip the microwave so it rests on its back panel. And release the bottom panel by unthreading the mounting screws. Disconnect the wire harness. Release the wires from the twist retainer and you can fully remove the bottom panel. Return the microwave to its upright position and remove all of the screws securing the cabinet. You will need to use a T20 tamper-proof Torx bit screwdriver to remove the bottom screws on the left and right sides. With the screws removed, carefully pull the cabinet off. When the repair is complete, confirm that the power cord is secured in the bracket, then reinstall the cabinet. Make sure the tabs on the sides of the cabinet align with the frame. 
Replace the screws to secure the cabinet. Rest the microwave on its back panel. Reinstall the bottom panel by first reconnecting the wire harness. Then secure the wires in the twist retainer. Fully reposition the bottom panel and secure it with the screws. Return the microwave to its upright position. Make sure the charcoal filter is properly aligned. Then replace the grill by inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame. Slide the grill to the right and rethread the mounting screws. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting bracket by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the bracket tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. With the appliance fully reinstalled, plug the power cord back in. Replace the turntable and support, and your microwave oven should be ready for use.